Japanese government officials have shown the surest sign yet that they intend to make nuclear power a key part of Japan's future. They've drafted a policy that describes it as an important energy source. NHK World's Yoichiro Tateua has more. We will figure out how much nuclear power we need, and we will secure that amount. The draft document, adopted by a group of cabinet ministers, endorses a major change in Japan's energy policy. The nuclear accident in Fukushima three years ago triggered a nationwide debate over nuclear power. The ruling party at that time promises to phase out nuclear energy within 30 years. Shinzo Abe's return to power in the December 2012 election changed the situation. The prime minister called the elimination of nuclear power irresponsible. The draft energy policy adopted on Tuesday says the government will restart reactors once they clear the latest safety regulations. The document also underlines the need to learn from the nuclear accident and the importance of safety. But some people question whether it is really safe to resume operations at nuclear power plants. Among them is the governor of Niigata. His prefecture hosts the world's largest nuclear plant operated by Tokyo Electric Power Company. TEPCO hasn't learned from the Fukushima accident. It's not qualified to operate nuclear plants. Paul Scalise is an expert on Japan's energy policy. He explains the rationale behind the government's renewed emphasis on nuclear power. You have Japan's very precarious lack of natural resources uh, and the hope that by moving away from fossil fuels like imported gas, oil, and coal, uh, that you can avoid the very disruptive uh, shocks to both electricity prices as well as gas prices that took place in the 1970s. Scalise says the energy policy will be welcomed by the business community. But he adds the utilities and the government need to display more transparency in order to convince the general public. Yoichiro Tateiwa, NHK World.